So if you watch my channel at all, you already know that I made a, uh, a video about changing the oil in the Xterra. So I'm going to do that again, but today I want to try something a little different. And hopefully it's uh, a little tip or a trick or something to uh, prevent a mess from being made when you take the filter off. All right, cap off. Maybe 10 millimeter, 14 millimeter. Drain plug out. All right, so while the oil's draining, I'm going to loosen the, uh, the oil filter. And this is the part where it usually gets messy. And uh, my plan is to jack the back of the car up a little bit so that it flows forward more instead of the oil going all the way and dripping out the back um, pretty much everywhere. So we'll see if that little trick works. All right, drain plug back in. All right, so here's the plan. The back of the car is jacked up and uh, I have uh, jack stands under there just in case. But now the car is leaning forward and I'm hoping that when I take the oil filter off that the uh, oil will drain forward also down the little track that's under there instead of going behind it and uh, all over the place. So I've already loosened the oil filter and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so far so good there. And normally the oil would be going all over the sway bar there. And that comes the messy part. Well, so far this is working because the mess came from me um, when I took the oil filter off. But all the oil is definitely draining forward. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but right there is the track where the oil drips down once you get the filter off. All right, so aside from you making a mess, getting the actual filter out, jacking up the back of the car definitely uh, helped a lot. Um, normally, with oil coming out all over the back of this plate back here if it's level. So garage floors have a slope to them that goes towards the driveway, and uh, I guess if you parked in, in the garage backwards, you'd have the same effect, but it's not nearly the slope that I have this thing jacked up right now, so um, from now on this is definitely the way I'm doing it because it took four or five minutes to jack the car up versus ten minutes of, of wiping everything off down underneath, so definitely worth it. Alright, so the filter's in, everything's cleaned off. That was definitely a lot less messier than um, not jacking up the back of the car. So I'm going to lower it down now and then put this cover back on. Alright, sorry about the bad lighting. Uh, cover's back on. It's really nice not having to clean this whole part off where it drips normally from behind here. Obviously the last step is to put the new oil in. I use uh, five and a quarter quarts and uh, that seems to be perfect. So I'll do that now. All right, last step, putting the cap on. All right, so that was definitely one of the fastest oil changes I've ever done on the Xterra, so I'm always gonna do it that way from now on. You know, it takes like five minutes just to jack up the car versus 10 or 15 minutes cleaning up underneath there, so um, I'm sure somebody has already figured this out. I don't know if there's a video about it or not. Um, it's not rocket science, but it just makes sense. If you raise the back of the car, the oil's gonna drain forward, so hopefully, uh, this helps somebody. 
it definitely helped me because that's how I'll be doing it from now on. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, we'll see you guys next time.